um, economic team has put on the table an offer to the holdouts with the intention to regularize the relationship in the financial front. So Argentina, again, is open to the world in a manner that is predictable and is systemic. In that regard, we really hope to be able to sort out the holdouts issue in, in the next few days. It is clear that what we have to do today is show to the world that Argentina is trustworthy, that we have we become a partner that can be talked with and that can be part of a long-term project even though historically there may be a, a proof that we haven't that behave always the way we should. There's undergoing uh, incredible turmoil at the moment. We feel it's so fair that some have already accepted it and, and the Italian bondholders accepted it, some of the ones that have a, the case in the Court of New York have accepted, others are still looking into it. We are very confident that the, the whole mediation process and negotiation process will yield a good result. What are the hurdles? Well, the main hurdle is that whatever the outcome is, has to be approved by Congress. And I have to say, it is our view, that there is an understanding in Congress that will get this approved in a very, very a, a fast track manner. Why is so? Because even though the government doesn't have a majority on its own, there is a broad spectrum from the opposition that believes that yes, indeed, this has to be resolved in order to open up for investment opportunities, financing opportunities. One is in the international realm with, with creditors here and elsewhere. But two